Welcome back, everyone. We're trending with Trent right now. Thanks, Take Sita. us home. Take us home on this Tuesday. Okay, so we have some good stuff. Um, we're going to end on a little somber note, but start with something very fresh and beautiful, which is day two of Jenna Bush Hager's debut on the Today Show in that fourth hour, sitting next to Hoda Mama, Hoda Kotb, and a lot of our viewers are really excited. They are. They are. They're really happy I mean, about it. It's actually refreshing because, you know, you go on Instagram, everyone is so opinionated. On the Today Show page, it was positive, 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 positive. Yes. I mean, I literally was like, wow, this is incredible. It's very true. And then they have that revamped Instagram and everything, and I, I saw the same thing. It's just, they're very, um, they've just loved her. I, I didn't realize she's been there for a decade at the yeah. Today Show. Um, so she's she's worked her way up. She started mm -hmm. as a teacher. Um, but we heard from you on our Facebook page. Jan said she rocked it. Way to go, Jan. We love hearing from you. We do. And Ida said, great job, exciting season ahead. Oh, great. Um, and we love that. If you love it, yes. hey, they they uh, come right before us. Amen. You didn't know. So, we, so just stay so if you're happy, keep it locked. Yes. <laughs> exactly. But KLG did get, I know last week you were off, but she did get such a tribute. What a oh, finale. Uh, okay, I need to go back and look at it time. all. I want to have a, a honorary yes, glass of do. wine tonight yes. and go back because I know I'll start balling. All the throwback clips, all the special yes. guests, like they did it up for her. Oh, I'm like, so excited. Thank you for queen. reminding me. I'm like, I have to see that. Um, Laura what? Ashley, it is. It's back. Can you believe it? I can't handle the classic, I can believe it's celebrating 65 years, but of course in the, the early 90s, um, Sally Ann, my mother, was all about the mm -hmm. decor of Laura Ashley, yes, the pillows, yes. the, yep. the, yeah. The shabby chicness of, of yes. the accessories and all that. Exactly. Not to mention the dresses that look yes. like tablecloths. No, I'm kidding. The I, had, I had them, yes. Yes. I, Our producer Michelle was saying she was decked out in those floral dresses, and it's back at Urban Outfitters, um, not for a limited time. It is literally back the whole line in celebration of their 65th. All the florals, scrunchies, uh, hats, uh, they're, they're just you know back. What? I'm going to make a mom statement. I know my okay. daughters aren't teenagers, and my mom friends who have teenage daughters, when I go, yeah. what are young girls wearing these days? Okay. It is too much. The short shorts yep. and everything's hanging too out. Far. It is too far. So you know what? I may not like these necessarily, all these prints, <laughs> but thank God we're going back to some decency, Amen. people. Throw them in those prints. Yes. Those girls Throw them. So and then I'm matching. Gonna, matching. And then we do, let's get stuff yes. below the knees again. Yes, please. Come on. Look at me. Okay. Ole. Yes, oh, ole. Come on. Okay, yeah, ruffles, I'll give, give it all. I'm sorry, I had to make my public service announcement. There's another Go. one, she's in a meadow. No, that's a sweet, like, but that's that off the shoulder. Hold Amen. on, let me get my phone. I'm going to order it right now. Wait, it, it is currently, you said. Currently okay. at Urban Outfitters. Got it. And we heard from Chelsea Handler, comedian, author. Um, she's going through kind of a midlife awakening, she calls it. She sat down with my beloved Maria Shriver, talking Love about that. how her oldest brother died when she was just nine years old, and she's still dealing with that grief. Let's take a look. Instead of dealing with their grief, she says her parents and other siblings withdrew, and she shut down. I never talked about my brother. I never spoke about it. If I got like this, I'd have to, you know, I'd fight it. I couldn't cry in front of anybody, never my, I mean, not even my parents. There's no shortcut through grief. You can't go around it. You can't ignore it. You have to go through it and go through the pain and cry with somebody until you can get it out of your system. That's oh, cool. God, that makes me yeah, she has a new book out. Um, she comes from a very big Jersey family, and I, I, she's always very real. And she sat down with Maria, who they kind of have a bond, and I yes. love anyone with Maria Shriver. Thanks so much, I know you love Maria. I love them both. And I love you. Thank you for being here on this Tuesday. We'll see you right back here tomorrow. Bye, guys.